And chat, how's it going, guys? Welcome back to the Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. Um, we were supposed to do this yesterday, but the patron um, had a conflict that was taking them later than uh, I wanted to start. So, uh, we're doing this one today, uh, and we'll add yesterday's on to next month. Uh, I do actually owe this patron an extra hour and 40 minutes, so this one will probably be a long one, unless that patron uh, wants me to stop at the normal time. Um, so yeah, why don't we just uh, load the game and get started. Alright, the hell were we doing? Okay, we've got short-term quests. Trat Plains Road. See me in the laboratory on the fourth floor of the central factory. Uh, oh, oh, we've tested the shoes. We're te whoops. Uh, testing the shoes. Trat's Plain Road for uh, people. Okay, are we wearing the shoes? Is someone wearing the shoes? The Alpha Strega. We are wearing the shoes. Okay. Uh, let's go to the Trap Plains Road. Oh, I forgot this music was here. This is good music. It kind of feels like something out of Persona. Or at least Persona 4. Okay, so how do I test the shoes? Do I just walk around for a while, or do I have to do something with them on? Let me check my uh, quest book. these sneakers down, I'll have to report back. Gotta reach certain locations with them equipped. Okay. Alright, well the first thing's first. Trat Plains Road. That is not where we came from, if I recall correctly. So we head out of town one of these ways. All right, where are we? Ritter Roadway. Uh, Mercury Viper on Ritter Roadway. Trat Plains Road. Trap Plains Road. Uh, okay, so the plot takes us to Trap Plains Road. Uh, let's go after the monster on Ritter Roadway. I don't think that's it. Let's fight this thing. Da 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 da. All right, let's take a look at these things. Sixteen hundred HP. Okay. All right. Uh. Oof. Trat 
20% chance to kill with Cloak and Dagger. I forgot about that. Uh, let's off the ads. Uh, yeah, let's kill that thing. Blind, can impulse. Uh, okay, does she have arts? She has healing and all that stuff. Uh, AoE does not reach. Well, let's kill the armored rabbit. Ow! It went twice? Good lord. Let's try Cloak and Dagger. Did not kill. Armored Rabbit has become what? I didn't see what it said. Uh, alright. Art... Will immediately happen. Miss. Oh, no. Golden armor, all right. Its defense is up. I don't know if that defense affects magic damage. Holy fuck! Uh, maybe we run. Well, balls. Uh, okay. Uh, does not have revive, does not have revive, cannot cast because she's dead. Okay, reviving but Oh, I have ten. Okay. Tita is a small child made of tissue paper. Well, a fucking apparently. Well, we're not going to fight one of those for a while. Oh, hey. There's that boss we're looking for. Oh, there's summons. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, Alright, let's see. 766 HP, 1800 HP, weak to fire and wind, though. Oh, she can hit all three. Nice. <laughs> Gotta get some CP, uh, some CP back for Tita.
Oh, these ads are gonna be annoying. Very annoying. Let's kill this one. And a hurricane. In the middle of these guys. Oh, I shouldn't have done this. I should have saved Hurricane CP. Ah, uh, that only did 450 damage. Damn. Oh, jeez. Uh, okay. Can she reach? She cannot reach. Balls, uh... Yeah. Uh, okay, can he reach? He can, okay, excellent. <laughs> God, stop calling for backup. All right, what can we hit with Hurricane? All these guys, or these three. Let's work on the boss. One of the minions down. Uh, okay. He does not have AoE heal. Uh, heal yourself, Joshua. This is about to be a mess. Oh, uh, yep, she's going down this turn. Or maybe Tita is. Stop calling for backup! Oh, bye, Estelle. Can we blind them? Oh, it does damage as well as blinds them. Oh, okay. Didn't realize that. How much HP have you got left? 677? Let's smack you. Oh, that did much less damage than I was hoping it would do. Alright, got the big boss. Alright, bye, Tita. Oh my god. There's so many movements. Alright, heal, heal yourself all the way. Yeah. 
St oh no, they called for backup. Oh god. Maybe we should have come at this later. Oh boy. Alright, reviving bomb will not get her up immediately. Okay, alright. Oh, did they get unblinded? Did blind only last a certain amount of time? Oh, balls, we're gonna lose this. Yep, we're gonna lose. Not now. All right. I think that's a long term. Yeah, that's a long term boss. That is a long term boss. So, Trap Plains Road. So there's two quest fights. North Zai, South Elmo Village, Wolf Fort. Is that a sheep? A monkey sheep? Creepy sheep. Extra sepet. We're good to go. Whoops, ran right over this guy. Still has AoE heal. She just died first. Whoops. She's adorable. All right, let's see these signs. South Elbow Village. North Zeiss East Wolf Fort. Uh, I think one of these fights is on the way to Wolf Fort. Tiara Bomb. You have found the missing link.
All right, let me let me check the quest. Uh, Ritter Road, Trap Plains Road, a book hidden by an old researcher. The client says that if we scour all of Zeiss, Mountain Village Pond, and you shall receive. Where the sneakers down. Yep, headed to Wolf Fort. Da 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 da. Sorry, I, I keep doing that, but I just I love the opening to this track. Firefly fungus. I don't want firefly fungus. Wasn't even looking. Grasshopper is playing dead. Oh, now I don't want to kill it. <laughs> Miss, come on. Miss! Come on! Got it, okay. Alright, we're good to go. Yeah, I figured that would be a trap. Oh, it's a big one of these Furby things. All right, how much HP is that got? 1,400. Hopper Chief. Can hit four of them at once. Cool. Arts, huh? Let's kill some ads. Oh, that's an AOE art be being around me. Oh, uh oh. Yeah, I thought she might be in the area. That's a neat little heel. Uh, Hopper Chief, dual strike. Hurricane again. Ha! Missed. I wish you could target attacks and stuff aside from Hurricane on empty squares. 
All right, Hopper Chief's dead. The rest of this should be easy. Ow! Fled. All right. Yeah. Hey, she hit two hundred. Nice. <laughs> we did it. Level up. Very nice. And lots of seven. Black bangle. Black bagels prevent sleep. Ah, okay. Uh, let's prevent poison on her. And uh, prevent confuse. All right. Oh, ambushed. Great. Strength up, defense down. Bad touch. Alright, that's a cute joke. That's a cute joke. XP. Uh, all right, you. North Cornelia Tower, beware of monsters. Beware my ass. What's the name of the scientist, dude? It's not Zoss. Zoss is a character in Kill Six Billion Demons. Alba. Exact opposite end of the alphabet from Zoss. Oh, I got ambushed. Ah, crap. Hello, Artritis. That's a fun name. Oh, ow. Alright, how much HP does this thing have? Thousand. Alright. Oh, very weak to water, though. Lead will happen before its next turn. Chapter, I'm in chapter three. Yeah. In Zeiss. Six hundred damage, nice. Black coat. Two, 
That's the black coat. Forty-five four. The black coat is eighty-eight. Good lord. That's a hell of a defense jump. Yeah, I'll put that on Estelle. Especially since she needed to catch up to Joshua. And Tita. She needed to catch up to Joshua and Tita. Aha! You again! EP charge. Cool. An empty chest is a tragic thing indeed. I finished this one and I'm on chapter 4 of SC. Nice! I... I don't know if I'll... If this patron wants me to play more Trails games, but I want to play more Trails games. Monster appeared. Alright, I should have known. It was right dead center of the room. Oh, do these things explode? I can't remember. Uh, they have 1100 HP, but they're very weak to water. Oh, I should have I should have healed Tito. Whoops. The call for backup. Oh, that's gonna hit all of us. That's gonna hit all of us. That's gonna double up on all of us. Oh god. Well, let's get out of that AoE. Yeah, let's dual strike to be safe. Yep, they explode. And blind. Oh, feather shower. Oh, jeez. Jeez. They're both targeting Tita? Oh, my God. Uh, all right, Tita. Tita is not a full uh, map AoE. Damn. She pulls out a mini gun. <laughs> that did a lot of damage. God damn. Uh, okay. Well, they're both targeting Tita. Joshua's closer. He can. Uh, he can. Um. Uh, uh, he can heal her. If you're trying to get the spoilers command, it's exclamation point spoilers. Alright, one down. Ho, 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 ho. Uh, all right, does he have... He does not have AoE heal. All right, well... But well, he's now in the AoE. God damn it. All right, well, she got healed. Holy shit. We are boned. Got so hooked on this game that I bought the rest on sale during the last year. Nice. It's pretty good so far. Uh, Alright, so Aqua Bleed. Staying the hell away from this thing. That'll kill it before it can use its art.
All right, we don't have to worry about explosions anymore. Uh, it is not within range. Uh, it's, in it's in range of flicker. He got a lot of EXP from that. <laughs> Level 21. Nice. That's a lot of Sepeth. Mind 3. Ooh. The chest is decidedly empty. Uh, okay. Alright. Mind 3. What does Mind 3 do? Mind 3. Arts plus 15% and it's water elemental. Oh, cool. Uh, Alright, maybe we put it in cast. Uh, oh, that's time element only slot. Okay. Can't put mind three. Oh, you can't have multiple minds. Okay. Well, we'll put mind three there. Joshua, do you have. You do not have the res. We gotta use res healing items, reviving bombs. Alright, Tina, you're not using your orbits. Okay, all right. Uh, Flicker is very, very narrow. Uh, I don't think it would have hit them both. Oh, you stay away from me. Uh, all right, let's go up this way. EP Charge EX. No soup for you. Alright, what is EP Charge EX? Oh, it's a it's a healing item. Duh. 300 EP, cool. Alright, it was right to go this way first. Good. Uh, let's go this way. Terra bomb. Oh, we're about to get ambushed. Damn it. Da 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 da. Alright, we need to focus on the bird. Oh, they're all focusing their arts on her. Maybe we maybe we have to focus on them. Uh let's pumpkin palm. That was that was that was not the craft I meant to use. God damn it. Alright, well. Gonna take this turn. Oh, Joshua will have um, another go before this thing fires off. Cool. Yeah. Alright, dual strike this time. There we go. Oh, it missed? It can miss? Nice. Uh, Alright, 800. More misses. Nice. Uh, Alright, do I need to dual strike? I do not need to dual strike. Man, the monsters in this chapter are tough. Let's, 
have all 21. Very nice. We have a shit ton of Sepith, though. It's empty. You have only yourself to blame. Do we get ambushed? We get ambushed. God damn it. EP slurp. Rude. Uh, alright. I don't want to fight these guys. Not with the ambush. There are so many of them in here. EP slurp. Just cast arts. I do not want to fight these things. Oh, for fuck's sake. All of you cast. No. I'm running from these monsters specifically. All right, this one I'll fight. That's a dead end. That's a dead end. That's a dead end. Cool. Uh, we're gonna heal. Still strike this guy. Hopefully Hurricane kills. Right, this will not catch the palm of the AoE, uh, but I'm going to kill the palm. Nice crit. Oh, who's gonna crit anyway? Right. It's split. Tell me it's HP split as well. Okay, it's HP did split. Cool. And Tita finished them off. Oh, doesn't need to finish that one off. Tita, kill! EXP from these things, at least. Uh, okay. Uh, that leads up. Yeah, let's go through this one. Dead end. Oh, damn it! There's two of the birds. Oh no. Oh no. I'm 
Ah, ha, 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 ha. Oh, monsters in a box. This place is rough. I need to buy more reviving bombs. Can you buy reviving bombs? I think you can. Alright, well, we'll lose that fight if we try it. Tear all bomb. <laughs> no. Alright, well, we'll kill this thing. I should have just had him defend and let uh, Estelle and Tita kill this thing to get CP. Monster. I just can't handle this type of monster. If they're going to summon the birds. So we'll skip those chests. Celestial Bomb. Cool. And we're on the roof. Is there anybody on the roof with us? We came here for no reason. Or at least at this point there's no reason. Ah, oh no! Two! Oh, we didn't get ambushed. I think it's this way to get out. Yes, it is. Okay. Tayara bomb. Alright, we'll we'll walk face first into this one so we don't get ambushed. Da 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 da. Uh work on the bird. Oh the bird's gonna crit. So we gotta use up we gotta use up our uh super. This will knock them close enough for Tita to hit them both. It does not. Well, Tita hit the pump. Again, nice. It wouldn't be empty if you hadn't already looted it, now would it? Hellfire eggs? Is that food? I don't see Hellfire Eggs in the food list. Oh, uh, it's already meals. Okay. You will not find a finer empty chest. Locked. Locked. Okay.
Uh, you kill the palm, Tita. You kill you. Oh, I should have attacked the one that was at full health so that Tita could hit them both. Oh well. After we leave this tower, we're going back to town and, and healing up, by the way. Lots of good EXP in this tower, though. And lots of items. Monster. <sighs> I was about to ask why she had full EP, but it's because she just leveled up. Remind me before we finish this chapter to come back here. To come back here. Oh, thank God Joshua went first. Uh, and clear out uh, all the monster chests. Nope, 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 nope. We cannot handle two of these birds at once. Oh, that's the way up. That's... Fuck! Okay, that's the way down. That's the way down. I'm glad Run doesn't appear to have a chance to fail. We are heading back to town and healing up. Cause holy crap. Well, maybe we don't need to. Now that our EP has been restored, uh, maybe we just keep moving. Let's, let's save. This is a big ass field. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, so where's this boss? Uh, oh. There's a path down here. There's two paths here. Where's this take me? Whoops. Oh, what is this? 1,000 HP, War Mantis. Weak to wind and fire. Very weak to wind. Does a lot of damage. I should go back to town and buy some revival uh, bombs. Tara Bomb, you have found the missing link. We already heard that message. That's probably Wolf Fort. Where is this boss monster? This thing does not look like a rabbit. Tita's going to get a crit. They both have 4 or 5 HP. Well, that's a fun coincidence. Nice. Monsters figured. Oh, it's just this guy again. Okay. Hit three. Nice. Hey, I'll take them playing dead. Three in a row. Alright, Estelle, Hurricane, here. Oh, crit up. Lovely. Five for five, five for five, all five of them play dead. Oh, they're blinded, lovely. Will Flicker hit? Flicker will hit multiple. Uh, all 
right, Hurricane again. We'll hit these three. Damn. Stop healing. Oh, we're unblinded. Excellent. Right, well, we're going to dual strike the Hopper Chief before it heals itself again. And or uses those crits on us. Got you. I think she can reach. Yes, she can. Alright, now Tina can finish off whichever one of them she wants. Can't reach that one, okay. Miss! nice EXP. That's a lot of seven. <laughs> Long barrel. Oh, it's a... No, it's not a gun for her. Uh, oh, long barrel. Range plus two. Increases the fire range of horrible guns and cannons. Excellent. The chest is oh so very empty. Surprise us just to play dead. Lovely. That is a big range. Sepith All right, we'll check how much Sepith I've got after this. You haven't moved away far enough. She's coming for you. And Sepith up. Nice. How much Sepith have I got? That's a shit ton of Sepith. Hell yes. arrived yet, but it was supposed to ages ago. Uh, 
Okay, so it hasn't reached Wolf Fort yet. Didn't even have to move for that shot. Oh, the range up is so good. All right, we'll take this other path up here. Kill? Yeah. Not quite. Hippity bop. Ow. Oh, no, that path just takes me to Cordelia Tower. Oh. There we go. There's the boss monster. Well, there's one of the boss. Oh! Oh no! I walked past it by the lake. Oh, I'll, I'll head back to there after I. Uh... Oh shit! Oh, this is this is bad. Can I flicker two of these guys? I can. Okay. Oh, Hurricane will hit all four. Nice. Miss. Nice. Oh, we're going to have to blind these guys. Uh, craft. Smoke cannon. Oh, blind all four. Nice. And it does damage to everybody. Now we can flicker again. Strength up, defense up. Uh oh. Alright, well, we'll hurricane again. Can Smoke Cannon still hit all four? It can. God, Tita is good. Almost got them both. One down. Alright, two golden armors. See if that attack up defense up stacked. It did not. Cool. That one's got 666 HP. Wow. 
That did almost nothing. Alright, let's dual strike. Okay, this went well. I say, and she immediately gets hit. Alright, Tina, can you kill? Can you kill from there? Yes, you can. Got him! gave 28 EXP? Come on. Give 127, though. Damn. Exterminated monster on the Trap Plains Road. Alright, which of those was it? That was... That one. Okay. So we still need to find the haulage vehicle, which you said was next to the lake. Are you talking about a different lake? The path you were looking for? Oh, the one to the, uh... Um... To Carnelia Tower? Uh, I already passed that by because I realized it went to Carnelia Tower. We didn't save after that fight. We were looking for the pathway in between Wolf Fortress and Carnelian Tower by the lake. Uh, okay. Crit. It slept him and he immediately woke up. Fair enough. So that's Cordelian Tower. Is this not Wolf Fort? Oh, it's not. Huh. Alright. I guess I missed this completely. Monster. Uh, oh, it's just a Hopper Chief. Never mind. That's fine. Oh, I missed one of them. Uh, we'll stay out of the AoE. And remember Final Fantasy Tactics? Oh no, it shoved his AoE over by 
Uh, Estelle, uh-oh. Remember Final Fantasy Tactics where your AoEs had friendly fire? Play dead. All right, hurricane. All right, you're going to smoke cannon. Oh, that's a big AoE. I love it. There's some EXP, and Tina's level 21. Nice. Oh, Stella and Joshua are almost leveled again. Sapphire Talisman. The chest is, you guessed it, empty. Alright, what's Sapphire Talisman? Sapphire Talisman... Whereas attack and defense will become water-based. Interesting. Oh, I already have an emerald talisman that does wind-based. All right. Is the boss monster in here? I'd like for the boss monster to be in here. No, this is just a way to the sapphire talisman. That would be great for Carnelia Tower, that's true. Oh, I forgot to heal. Not that it matters with this fight. Yeah, I'm looking for the haulage vehicle. Is it in... Actual question, is it in this big area? Nearby where the Trat Plains monster was. Oh, it's not a boss fight. It's it's a haulage vehicle, right? Uh, I'm guessing it's broken. Yeah, it looks like it. This would have to happen in the middle of nowhere like this. Hey, what happened? Looks like you're in a bit of a pickle here. What's up with you two? Oh, we're going to have Tita fix it. Hmm? Huh? That emblem. Might you two be... Yep, we're Junior Bracers. I'm Estelle, and he's... Joshua, it's nice to meet you. 
Hmm, you're awful young to be bracers. Oh, I see. I've heard about you two. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm Wong of the Zeiss Guild branch. Kilika told me about you. So, what brings you here? We're on an escort mission at the moment. Uh, hi. I have to go to Elmo. So I asked Estelle and Joshua if they'd come with me. Hey, now that I get a good look at you, you're Tito, right? You want another errand for the old professor? It must be tough being that guy's gopher. <laughs> so, what happened here? You guys seem to be in a bit of a jam. I'm afraid so. I was escorting this transport vehicle to the Wolf Fort, but we only got this far before it broke down. I think the problem's in the Orbital engine. It started rattling, and then, before we knew it, well, here we were. Oh man, that stinks. Wait a second. There's a request up on the bulletin board Excuse me, about searching for a haulage vehicle. Do you think that might have been about Wong's transport job? No doubt about it. Well, at least the guild knows about us. Hmm, yeah, but your orbital engine's a wreck. I like the little smiley face sticker it's got on it. Unless I miss my guess, you're going to have to replace all your internal motivator ornaments. Huh? You can't fix it? The core of an orbital engine is a super delicate machine. You'd need a professional technician to give it that kind of complete overhaul. It just can't be done with simple tools. I understand. So, there's no way we'll get it repaired outdoors. What's wrong? Oh, boss fight time. See for yourself. Oh, okay, maybe not a boss fight, just seven armored rabbits. Monsters! Eight armored rabbits. Wong, look up! Okay, seven armored rabbits. Whoa! Stay back, Bruno! Okay. Ten armored rabbits. Crap, there's more of them. Wong, you handle the ones back there. We'll take care of these. Alright. Alright, let's show these things who's boss. Ambush, huh? Alright. Craft. Hurricane, get all six. Let's smoke cannon all six. Got one. The rest are all blinded. Cool. They're all excited. Miss. Nice. Four with Hurricane again. And Tina can just finish them off with a basic attack. Beautiful. Sixty-two blue seventh. I needed that. That should be all of them. Yeah, we got them. Whew, thank goodness. Indeed, and no casualties. Oh man, my life flashed in front of my eyes. The little girl is handling herself fine and you can't, Bruno? Cronus man. Now, we're okay. But what comes next? Uh, excuse me. Good question. 
I think our first priority should be to get our vehicle moving again. So, start pushing. But we can't repair it, can we? It sure won't be easy. Which means that our only option is to change out the parts. The manager of the transport vehicles is Prometheus from the Central Factory. He'd probably know where we can get the replacement parts we need. But we'd have to go all the way back to Zeiss for that. Ugh, I just don't know. What do you think, Bruno? Back to Zeiss, then? It probably won't do any good, but I want to try getting it to start for a little bit. If it starts, we're golden. If not, back to Zeiss we go. That works. I guess we'll go get the parts for you. Gotta stick with it, huh? You know me. So I guess that means that we're going to try holding out here for a little bit. That's fine. Just be careful, okay? Don't worry about us. If things start to look too risky, we're heading straight back to town. And you watch yourself on the way to Elmo, okay, Tita? I will. If you get a chance, let Prometheus know what's up, okay? I'm pretty sure he's in the Central Factory, third floor design room. Okay, we'll see you later. Third floor. Take care. Third floor, okay. All right, back to Zeiss then. Okay, so what locations, well, actual question, what locations do we have to go to for the shoes? Oh, there's a hidden quest at Wolf Fort. Okay, we'll head back there in a sec. Hey, crit! Ah, uh, excuse me. Wow, I'm tired today. Need to breathe more. Western Fortress, Wolf Fort, Sanctum Gate, and for the extra BP, go to Air Letton. Is Air Letton the place we came in f into Zeiss from? Come here. Chicken. Chicken, come here. There we go. I talked to it. Uh, all right. Before we do this, I'm going to take a quick break. Uh, I'll be back in a few minutes, guys. It's been a while, but I think it's marked on the map. Uh, Liberal Kingdom map. Yep. Air Letton is back the, to the entrance to Zeiss. Uh, Air Leston Fortress... We're at Wolf Fort, Sanctum Gate, and Air Letton. Okay, so we'll head for Leston Fortress and Sanctum Gate uh, after we pick up the quest in Wolf Fort. Okay. Uh, all right, well, we're going to take a quick break. I'll be right back.
Thank you.
All right, sorry that took me a minute. I was checking the mail. Both my uh, replacement Joy-Cons and my Ralse plush arrived today. So that was a pleasant surprise. I posted a picture of the Ralse plush in his uh, current location next to my PS5 in stream chat, uh, in the stream chat channel on the Discord server. So check that out. It's very cute. I'm from the Republic myself. Maybe that figures into the karma that pushed me into this old dump of a bar. Some life, right? Ha! <laughs> Most travelers coming through here are merchants moving between Liberal and the Republic. There may be transit ships for travel between us, but using them is pretty expensive. A large number of people cross the border on foot. This is Chief Warrant Officer Pace's lunchtime, don't you know? That's why he's downstairs right now. Man, my nose is clear today. Oh, it feels good. Any reports of negligence on the soldiers' parts is the Chief's responsibility. Chief Warrant Officer Pace doesn't reprimand the troops because of his laissez-faire attitude. I've tried to bring it up with him, but I was told my thoughts would be duly noted. Well, the responsibility is his to shoulder. I can't do anything more than that. I'm guessing Pace is the guy who'll give me this quest. <laughs> hey, forgive me. Huh? Uh, did I just say that out loud? Uh, yeah, you were shouting at the top of your lungs and crying gently. Pfft. Faye, forgive me. Crap, I even said her name. Hmm? Huh? Faye? Why does that name ring a bell? Hmm, Faye. Maybe it's the girl in the factory basement? Oh yeah, the girl who got the gas tank for us. That was it. Blue collar type. Wait, you know my Faye? Yeah, she helped us finish up an assignment earlier. We're bracers. Bracers? That's perfect. Huh? Do you have a request for us? Yes, it's just a personal errand, but I want you to do a job for me. Would now be a good time? Well, we'll help if we can. But first, I want to know what it is you want us to do. Right, I, um, want you to deliver a letter to Faye for me. She and I were seeing each other, but we hit kind of a rough patch. We ended up breaking up recently. But I want to make it up to her. That's why I wrote the letter. Could I persuade you to deliver the letter to her? Just whenever your work takes you to Zeiss. Sure. Shouldn't be a big deal. What do you think, Joshua? Fine by me. We're not in any rush, so sure. Really? That's great. I have it right here. Please, take care of it. Letter to Faye. Of course we will. But stirring a woman's emotions with a letter can be kind of tough. Huh? Is that true? Really? I really don't think it's our place to offer advice on this, Estelle. No, don't worry about it. It's good to get a female perspective sometimes. So a letter alone won't do it, huh? Probably not. Oh, I know. How about some kind of gift? Great idea, but I didn't get anything to give her. Damn it, I can't just go shopping while I'm on duty. That's true. Uh, I hate to ask, but could I also get you to pick up something to go along with the letter? Huh? You want us to go gift shopping for you? Tell me you have an idea of what you want us to get and aren't just foisting off the responsibility on us. Right, you can buy something in Zeiss. Get the gift and deliver it to her along with the letter. Well, I don't have a problem with it. 
But this is kind of a big responsibility. I'm sure you're up to the task. Faye's usually in her work clothes, working with all that loud machinery. But I really want to get her something cute that'll speak to her feminine side. Something cute? Like a stuffed animal? I, uh... I think that'd be kind of babyish for her. Oh, calling me out! I just got a stuffed animal in the mail! Okay, something cute. I'll go ahead and give you some money to cover the cost. It's not much, I know, but please, get something for her. Thousand Mira, okay. Will do. So, we'll accept your request, but... But just buying a gift in Zeiss? Are you sure you want to leave it up to us? Yes, I think it'll work out. Thank you for this, really. Sleep with a headboard full of plushies. Oh, uh, in my room, I've got the plush Ralsei that I just got. I've got uh, half a dozen plush frogs, including one where you that's a puppet where you... Uh, uh, from inside it, you open and close its mouth and it ribbits. Um, and I've got a plush cat bus from My Neighbor Totoro. And I've got a plush Mimikyu that my sister gave me a few years ago. We should do uh, a bunch of battles so we can get our CP up against these easy ones like the sheep. I love that she doesn't even have to move to attack. She might be my favorite unit so far. Could have at least called for backup. It has like one HP. It has four HP! Well, I'm not complaining. It gets me some CP. Oh, uh, Estelle and Joshua have almost leveled again. I have a bunch of non-plush knickknacks, too, but uh, plushies are the order of the day. Okay, so move takes less, um, less ATB than attacking or doing stuff. Cool. We're good to go. Uh, back up this way. All right, we've been to Wolf Fort.
Nice crit. That's that thing. Let's move out. Alright, so where's the inn? Is this the inn? Sanrod Hotel. We need to find something cute. Where do we find something cute? Wheat, white, rye, sourdough. What kind of bread is good bread, anyway? Labels would be so much easier. Well, there's the Italian loaves at my local supermarket that I really like. Good old Igor, full of spit and vinegar, like usual. Wonder if I could trouble you to look at the clock. It's been running slow since yesterday. want to just tell Elkin to finish his own boxes, but <sighs> I can't. And ratting him out to Old Man Stain to look bad, too. Something cute. Cute weapon, maybe. Yeah, this is definitely a Persona track. Find her something cute. You know, it kind of defeats the purpose if it doesn't come from him. When we're working, we usually end up eating traditional foods found in Zeiss. It doesn't have much going for it in terms of subtlety. But if you need something to jolt your head back into the game, Zeiss cooking is it. I'd really like to see some measures taken to allow us to choose our meals. Who knows? Inspiration can sometimes come from the strangest places. I help out here when Ursus isn't around. It gets so busy here at lunchtime, it'll make your head spin. Right now Ursus isn't here, so I've got to stir pots. But honestly, cooking can be pretty interesting. I've been coming up with so many ideas for that tomato. Oh, God, right, the bitter tomato. All right. Okay, all right. Maybe a cute ornament? Cute Bible? I don't see an orbital shop around here. Oh, right, the Orbal shop is in... I'm so confused. All I did was ask for a Healy Orbit, and they hand me this telephone book. All these different models. I don't have a clue where I should start looking. See that customer over there? He's what you might call a layman. Uh, I've already heard this. Uh, oh yeah, let's unlock some Orbits. Right. It is all already open. Okay. Oh, that's why I have so few blue. It's because I bought an HP3 or something. No, I didn't buy an HP3. All right. Well, we'll hold off till we have more blue Sepeth. Uh, Alright, well, as long as we're here, we'll head up to the third floor.
you're not who I need to talk to. Thanks in advance. As long as you get her there, Tita can do all the work. Good luck. Hmm, I think we should compact the barrel more. We're not taking full advantage of the high orbital pressure threshold. Yes, sir, that's true. But won't doing so make the overall unit too top-heavy? I believe this configuration is better, given its current housing and balance. That may be true, but it's not part of my design philosophy. Oh, he's an auteur, huh? I'm trying to maximize output within our technical limits. Yes, sir. Excuse me, do you have a moment? Your name is Prometheus, right? What kind of parents did you have who would name you Prometheus? Aye, that's me. What can I do for you? I just need a few minutes of your time. We're actually looking for a vehicular orbital engine. We were told that you were the man to ask. Well, let me think. Sorry, but I haven't the foggiest notion. Huh? What do you mean? But well, we heard that you were in charge of vehicles. Aye, but that was years long past. I did carry out that task, but I switched duties from time to time. So in other words, I don't know exactly who you need to talk to, but it's not me. I'm very sorry. Well, crap. Is that all? I have a lot to get done. Sorry for taking up your time. Excuse me then. Ooh, I don't like this. It was supposed to be a nice, easy task. A good deed we could do with almost no trouble. I'm sorry. I wish I could be more help. You're fine, kid. Don't worry about it. Hey, it's no big deal. We'll just have to find some other means of getting what we need. Even if the trail has gone a little cold. Another means. Hmm. Oh, speaking of which. You have an idea. Well, maybe. What about that, you know, chapel thing? You mean the capel? That's the one. Didn't that have some information in it about haulage vehicles? That's a good thought. So if we take another look at the capel, we could probably find some useful info. I guess it's capel because she thought it was chapel. Let's go ahead and check it out. Okay. All right, so where the hell is that? I guess we'll go from top to bottom. Operations. That's the outside. Clinic, lab, office, archives, maybe it's on B1? is the way to air let. Uh, actual question, is the capel in this uh, building? While I wait for an answer on that, I'm going to go to air Letton.
Third floor workshop. Oh, alright. Well, we'll get that on the way back. And I still need to figure out what cute thing I can buy Faye. Whoops. Airletten checkpoint. I think that's probably all I need to do to get here, but let's go down in. Ruin is this way. We can't go back. We already signed. Uh, all right. All right. We've made it to Airletten. What cute thing could I buy Faye? I wonder if we change our minds and get her something uh, work-related. Maybe we have to talk to Faye to get an idea from her. I'm gonna save in case this short circuits the quest and gives her the letter without buying anything for her. Faye, do you have a minute? Hmm? What is it? I've got a letter for you. Here you go. Okay, well. What? Wait, is this from Private Brom at the Wolf Fort? Yeah? Okay, now's the perfect time to give her the gift. Oh, I've already got it. Oh, I've got... You can get various things. I assume there's a best... Actual question, is there a best thing to get her? Because if so, I'll reload and try to find it. The best thing is not the seasonal tart, I assume. Could give her the bitter sandwich. Alright, well, we'll give her the seasonal tart, see what happens, and then load our save file. This is a present to go with it. Thank you, it's very nice. It's just that I'm trying to cut back on sweets, and he still sent me this. Oh, I guess it just shows that he doesn't really listen to me. Ah, 
Well, that was a lousy present. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you for taking the time to deliver it to me. Well, I should get back to work. Sure, see you later. Uh, alright. Well, file. Load. Yeah, I figured that would short-circuit the quest. Alright, well, up to the third floor. I may ask for a hint in a minute about where to find the good thing, but I should I just don't know where to start. Alright, you said the third floor workshop. The only person here is Russell, and he doesn't have anything new to say. Fifth floor, okay. Factory operations. All right, central factory ops. Oh, the capital, right, this thing. This will probably actually say who's in charge. After... Okay... The factory chief is succeeded by Murdoch. Haulage vehicle. Entry. Orbital haulage vehicle. Any wheeled vehicle powered by orbital energy. Widely considered uncomfortable to ride and very limited in speed. Primarily used for transporting cargo. Owner. No data. Repository. Underground factory entrance. Okay. Did you find what you were looking for? Okay. It said underground factory. I'm confused. Ah, here we go. <sighs> I really am just no good. Okay, what's with the long face? Hmm? Oh. It's just that my superior is kind of peeved at me. My very beautiful superior. So, did you want something? Yeah, I just needed to ask a question. We're looking for a small orbital engine, the kind that fits into a haulage vehicle. This looks like the right place to find one. But do you know specifically where we should look? An orbit for a haulage vehicle, eh? And what are you planning to do with it? 
There's a vehicle up the road that's broken down. It looks like the orbital engine is the source of the problem. Oh, uh, okay. No problem. You're just looking to swap it out then. That shouldn't be too difficult. Here you go. It's the only one I've got, so make sure you don't lose it along the way. Drive orbit. Thank you. Okay, let's take this over to Wong. They're probably still on the Trap Plains Road. Yeah, probably. You folks be careful too. We will. Thank you so much. If you'll excuse us then. Okay. I could just go through um Zeiss and talk to everybody and try to find something cute for Faye. I don't think cute is what she'll want though. Probably something practical is what she'll want. Let's, let's stop by the Bracer Guild. Well, that's Central Goods. Well... My wife Ada gets such a stiff neck sometimes. She went to the church to get some medicine. I know they're researching medicine at the Central Factory as well. But they still have nothing of the traditional remedies. Uh, I've already shopped for everything in the shops, I think. But I'll check again. There. Perfect. It's fine as it is. Uh, Alright. Weapon shop. It's arms and guards. It is. Alright. 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 Oh, metal jacket would be an increase. Uh, metal jacket would be a big increase for Joshua and Tita. Oh, it costs 10,000 each. Five thousand for craft shoes. I could sell a bunch of Sepith, but I want to keep it. Work jumpsuit, maybe. That might be what Faye wants. Let's buy the work jumpsuit. It's separated from everything else. You know what? Let's try it. No, damn it. All right. Okay, work jumpsuit was not it. All 
All right, let's deliver the engine ornament. to Tita, that's true. Lowers her art defense by four, though. Ah, eh, art defense isn't as important as defense defense, I guess. Hello, Tita. Heading out? Yes, ma'am. I'm off to Elmo. I see. Busy as ever. You should stop by the hot springs while you're there. My grandfather loves them. You're so lucky, Tita. What? Why? You've got purpose. I'm so bored now. Here, there's a hot spring resort near here. I want to go see it, but I guess I'll wait until we check this place out a little more. All right, let's let's deliver the Orbital engine, and then we'll come back and try to figure out a gift for Faye. One point away from leveling Estelle, really? Ha! Missed! Level 22 for Estelle. Nice. Wait. Hang on. Ah, there we are. Hey, how's it coming? Welcome back. I don't suppose you found us a replacement engine, did you? We sure did. Sorry we took so long. Oh, really? That's a huge relief. I tried everything I could think of to get this thing started. But it was all for nothing. We were just about ready to give up and return to Zeiss. Really? Well, we made it just in time then. Let's go ahead and get the vehicle fixed. Yeah. We'll have this orbital engine swapped out in a flash. Go for it. I'll help. Small child. And there we go. I love the little smiley face on it. Let's give her a whirl. Yep, she's good to go. Nice. 
Now we can finally get that cargo moved. Your grandpa must have trained you. You're young enough to still be going to Sunday school, but you're amazing with machines. <laughs> well, we're gonna get out of here. You guys be careful. We will. We'll talk again. Thank you for your help. Take care. This thing moves slow enough for the escort to walk alongside. College vehicle repair completed. Okay. All right. All right. Back we go. I wonder if this is, um, miss, come on. I wonder if this game's soundtrack is a remake of the original soundtrack, because it's really high quality for a game that came out in 2004. I guess it came out on PC originally, so there weren't really... Well, I guess there would be disc size restrictions because they were all on disc at that point. XP for Joshua. Nice crit. Nice level. Exactly 300 to go for uh, Tita. Cool. Whoops. Turn this shit into the Bracer Guild. Haulage vehicle search. Thousand Mira BP. Haulage vehicle repair. Fifteen hundred and five BP. Trap cleans monster. Fifteen hundred and four BP. All right, so that leaves product testing and Ritter Road Monster. Uh, okay. Let's go to Leston Fortress and Sanctime Gate. Clear out this... Um... This... Product Testing Quest.
Oh yeah, there's the monster. Leston Fortress. Soul Dot Army Road. I like this track. Every time it shows up, I like this track. Oh, damn it. Uh-oh. Let's kill the Bane Cobra before it starts summoning ads. <laughs> Miss, come on. Just off this guy. Nice crit. Oh, this thing's gonna have plus 50 attack. Uh oh. Hopefully, it misses from being blinded. Okay, it wasted its turn on golden armor. Well, waste is relative. Nice. That's that then. Let's move out. EP charge EX. It's empty. Outrageous. Oh, balls. Dual strike this guy before he starts summoning it extra. Cool. Craft hurricane, hit them both. Smoke cannon, hit them both. Nice miss. Oh, come on, don't miss. See if Dual Strike takes him down. Sure won't.
Oh, come on, Leston. All right, we've made it to Leston Fortress. Warning, no photography allowed on military property. I am getting a lot of blue sepith, you're right. This is the Royal Army base of Leston Fortress. Civilian access is prohibited. I insist that you leave this area immediately. Fair enough, I just needed to walk up to this place. Uh, let's do a little heals. Walked directly into it. Strike you. Got him. Oh, smoke cannon. Nice miss. Oh, come on. You're blinded. Got him. That's that. Let's move out. All right, back on Ritter. is Varkheim or whatever it's called. Sanctheim. That's it. You can climb up here from the Sanctheim gate all the way to the Annenberg Wall. It's worth taking the time to see at least once. These are all historical ruins. It's a pretty famous tourist spot. We're all kind of used to seeing it every day ourselves. But I'm impressed that people built all of this without any help from ornaments. What? I was just soaking in all of these buildings. The Queen's birthday celebration is coming up soon. We should have a drill to practice police procedure during a busy period one time. I need to file a report to Chief Warrant Officer Dale for that drill. Oh my, how delicious! It seems the meals are liberal-based, with a few Eastern spices to add extra flavor. A creative and thoroughly original flavor character. I've actually heard good things about this restaurant. I heard the menu here can be a little bit exotic. Five-star restaurants like the Antaros are certainly nice, but the charm of places like this is a nice change. Pot of meat. 
Gimme, gimme. When I was younger, I wanted to work in a big restaurant. But then I got to thinking. I decided that I was doing just fine right here. I mean, I'm right here in front of my customers, right? I have instant feedback. So I have to keep up my game. The best restaurant to work in is one where you're learning. That's a good way of looking at it. Vegetable sandwich. I can't remember if I've already eaten one of those, but probably. Mom, who do you think is better, Private Jules or Private Hector? I like Private Jules, but he's a bit too stiff. If I were you, I'd be trying to land that cook, Sanders. He's hardworking, dedicated, and his eyes don't wander. He might not be much to look at, but he's dependable, and that's the most important thing a man can be. And he's probably a good listener to boot. Good luck. Can I can I steal? I wanna steal. I wanna steal. I can't steal. Mm -hmm. Yes? I'm afraid I'm busy with official work right now. If you're in a hurry, I suggest you take your questions to someone else in the hall. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm in this beautiful place with the woman I love. The world is a wonderful place. We just started dating and this is our first trip. But he's been such a sweetie. Aw, cute. Long hallway, all right. We're always staring off at the horizon, right? My eyes have gotten really sharp as a result. All my friends at home think there's something wrong with me, though. But it's just a side effect of the job. It's not like I'm sick or anything. Really? Can you hone your eyesight? I guess I've never tried, considering I've got... like, 2500 vision. All right, well, we've been to all the places. Let's head back to the guy and show him the shoes. All right, actual question. Can the thing you need to give to Faye be found in Zeiss, or is it found in one of the other towns? Before I spend half an hour looking all over Zeiss for it. It can be found in Zeiss. Okay. Well, I guess I'll spend the next half hour looking all over Zeiss for it.
Could I need to save before turning in the shoe quest? All right, well, we'll save now because I'm not sure where the shoe quest is. Just in case it didn't register the extra BP, I see. Okay. That's the office. That's not where it's going to be. It's not in the archives. Okay. Design room. No. That's the workshop where Russell is. Floor four. Gotcha. Thanks. Lab. That's the place. This is the guy. Is this the shoe guy? Report test results. Hi there, Terry. We've done plenty of walking. Ah, thank you. If you just let me examine the shoes for a moment. Impressive. The soles are extremely worn down. We wore them for like six hours. How are the soles worn down? You've got, you make shitty shoes. It looks like I selected poor materials in its making. Yes, I call the test a huge success. Whew, that's a relief. Yeah, like it's the best way to design a better something is to break a worse something. See how it breaks, see what needs fixing, and do a better job the next time. I was afraid you were going to say that you needed us to do more walking. <laughs> Thank goodness. So there were no problems? No sudden slips or the material going rigid? Nope, it all went fine. They fit great and were as comfortable as, an as a worn out old pair of shoes. True Stregas, through and through. Ah, yes, you're a big fan of the Strega brand. You 100%ing the game. Uh, I'm not, like, going obsessively with it, but, um... But, uh, the patron who picked this game for me... Uh, has been guiding me to all the hidden side quests and stuff. Because he wants me to see them all. Perhaps I should give you a gift, then. Since you exceeded my expectations in the test, I'll give you an equivalent bonus. Beta Strega. Ooh. Oh, are these what I think they are? They're a reference copy of a new product line. It hasn't been announced yet, but they should be available in store soon. Are you sure it's okay for us to have these? Yes, we've already passed this phase of development, so I don't need them anymore. I'd rather they be on the feet of someone who can appreciate their true value. Wow, thank you! We got to help with development and got a brand new pair of pre-production sneakers in the process. Best job ever. <laughs> my sentiments exactly. Thanks to your efforts in testing, my research results are sure to be certified. Good luck with your work. I can't wait to see the next new product. Yes, I'll be reporting these results to my boss right away. Thanks for everything. See you later. Product testing completed. Uh, it should be stressed. Don't tell me the. Don't tell me the answers to quests or questions unless unless I say actual question. Um, I don't want to be guided to anything. But, um, yeah, I'm going to do as much as I can. If you ever put you down a rabbit hole of the greatest and worst series ever, after Trails No Story Compares, it's pretty good. I wouldn't say it's the best JRPG I've ever played, or anything like that. It's certainly no Persona 5, or Final Fantasy 9, or Chrono Trigger, but it's very good. It takes its time, right? Like, it... It walks where other stories run. Like, Final Fantasy VI runs. It books it. It goes at a breakneck pace for the entire story. Um, but this game meanders and takes its time and really takes in the scenery. Um, it, it soaks in the game and all the lore and world building and scenery that 
they put in the game, and I really appreciate that. Uh, it, it takes it at a nice slow pace so you really soak in everything. You say that now, but don't worry, it'll be number one. Oh yeah, I forgot to check out the new shoes. We're giving them to Estelle, of course. Uh, Beta Strega. Plus 13 defense. Nice. And we can give Joshua the Alpha Strega. Wait, hang on. Can only, can only Estelle wear the Alpha Stregas? <laughs> oh, true sneakerhead. Product testing. Yep, we got the bonus BP. 2000 Mira, too. Cool. Alright, let's make sure there are no others. Uh, just the Ritter Road monster. Cool. Alright, before I spend half an hour trying to track down the best gift to give to Faye, I'm going to take another quick break. I'll be back in a few minutes, guys.
All right, I'm back. Sorry that took me a little longer than I thought it would. Okay, we gotta find something to give to Faye. She doesn't want sweets. She doesn't want a new jumpsuit. She probably doesn't want a new gun. I've been in this house talking to people. I've talked to that guy. Elkin's dedicated to the job, and he's good with machinery, but he's hung up on efficiency. An efficient yet undependable weapon is a useless weapon. I keep telling him that, but it doesn't seem to sink in. My son's got a point. There's far too many, too much planter space up here, and not enough flowers to fill it. I wonder if Soteria would part with a few flowers for me. Total Orbal Shutdown. I've never even seen any records of such an event. If some experiment was the cause, I wonder what exactly what kind of experiment it was. You're kind of precocious for a six-year-old. Alright, so not in there. Probably not anything in the church, but let's see if she wants a vestment. We came all this way. We should all say a prayer. Goddess Idios, thank you for your gift of medicine. Mommy? Mommy, are we finished? Amen to that, kid. I thought someone had come, but they only needed medicine. Father Vixen is too lax on the lack of proper prayers. Vixen? His name is Vixen? What kind of person named Vixen becomes a priest? Oh, Idios, goddess of the sky. Also, who names their male child Vixen? Guide and protect your flock. Alright, nothing in the church. No, wait, there's another room over here. Let's see. Airport. No, that's Ritter. Airport's from the factory area. This is the general goods store. Casually goes behind the counter. Nothing. Nothing and nobody. May clock is slow. Guess that blackout's responsible. Well, I'll we'll be sure to take a look at it in a little bit. Alright. Does she want a beer? Nothing in the booze house. Uh, eh, we'll look through the hotel. Probably nothing in here, but we might as well look. Linen room. Well, we certainly don't want to give her soiled linens. This is such a nice, spacious room. It's definitely worth what we're paying for it. I think I'll take things easy for the rest of the day and finish my business tomorrow. Hey! Hey! Long time no see! Oh, hey! It has been a while. Who's this? You remember that kid who was looking for the quartz shard in Roland, don't you? 
Remember? We took a request to find it a while back. Are you headed back to the Republic? After we finished doing some shopping at the Central Factory, we made some cash in Gransel, so... Mom says we're going to take this Mira and stock up on ordnance. They say the eyes are the first to go, but she can still spot a good deal. She's not that old. You're like ten. If that. I can see you're still an obnoxious brat. What? I'm only saying what everyone else is thinking. Anyway, this town is crazy. It's all ordnance. It's just what I imagined a city that builds airship would be like in real life. Well, he's certainly not going to give us anything cute. There. This room has been sanitized. <laughs> What's next? Hallway? Closet? You are all unclean. I like her. Anaxi, check my logic on this. This this track sounds like it's from Persona 4, doesn't it? I don't mind doing the cooking, but Uriel? Why do I have to make your bed? Hey, Ursus. When you finish making lunch, can you make the bed for me? Luis didn't do it. Do it yourself, kid. Would that we could all approach our jobs with the same level of enthusiasm. Yeah, I'm into that. It would be nice if every job felt that awesome. Even this job gets tiring sometimes. Like, I play video games for a living, and I watch cartoons for a living, and that's awesome. But it is still work, right? Like, uh, I'm playing games I wouldn't necessarily choose to play, for five to six hour stretches. Um, when there are other games that I'm like super eager to play, like Zelda. I make my living from patrons picking games for me, but it does, it does uh, get annoying once in a while. Okay. I want to just tell Elkin to finish his own boxes. I can't. I've already heard this. Drink stand. I've got to be the only pilot in the kingdom who flies a normal ship while wearing a maintenance uniform. It's not about looks though, right? It's about skill. What, you already read it? The Liberal News' latest issue? The mayor of Ruan got arrested. Turns out he's a total crook. And between Sky Bandits and this Dalmore person, what is this world coming to? Da -da 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 -da. Hey, Tita, I'll be your grandpa out again. Yes, sir, I've got to go to Elmo. Elmo? Are you serious? Didn't you just get attacked by monsters out there near the Caldia Tunnel? <laughs> this time I have two bracers for bodyguards. I should be perfectly fine. Well, you did bring back the combustion unit. Bracers, huh? At first I thought you were just some loudmouthed little girl. I guess you won't have any problems. Have a safe trip. Thank you. Hey, Gustav, you got anything cute for us? No, didn't think so. Last vacation, I went to those waterfalls over in Air Letton. 
Some duke from the royal family was visiting there at the same time, all incognito-like. But he still made a gigantic fuss. What a self-absorbed jerk. He ruined my vacation. Yeah, he does that. I don't think all of the royal family are like him, of course, but still. All right, maybe I get a gift from somebody in the Orbal factory. That would make sense, actually. Already contacted the Bracer Guild. Please see to it that Tina arrives safely. What, are you serious? One of the researchers on the Orbal Engine Project quit! Yes, we thought we had talked him into reconsidering, but apparently there were... circumstances. His official resignation notice came today. I see. Well, this is a problem. This whole project was to be for the Arce. If we can't get this started, our hopes of actually using the Arce are finished. I know, I know. We can't keep the old model engine in the Arce. And I understand how quickly we need to find a replacement. But we should look at it as a chance to get a fresh point of view on the project. I've already talked to you. Hello. Sorry about before. I plan to take a long rest after this and kick this smoking habit of mine. I'm counting on you two to watch out for Tito on the way to Elmo. You got it. Hey, you got anything cute we can give to a maintenance worker? Oh, so that's the infamous Wilmot from Operations. I've never even seen him before. He doesn't look like much, does he? You know, he looks like the kind of guy who's always washing his hands and stuff. I believe the Kappel's effectiveness was directly related to the Orbal shutdown. I believe that when the Orbits shut down, it was able to do a complete reset. We could use that as a new maintenance technique. The shelf holds a book entitled Tomorrow's Cooking. Today I will be introducing one of my newest cooking recipes, specially for those readers of this book. And that recipe is none other than, drum roll please, can you guess what it is? It's Bouillabaix! Yes, that's right. This delectable dish of unobtrusive monster bits is one that everyone can enjoy. Follow my groundbreaking recipe, and that monster corpse you've been dragging around will taste simply divine. Now whip out your sword, and let's get started. Uh, ingredients. Juicy bone times two. Fish fillet times two. Crisp onion times one. Red pepper. Add to taste. Clear gelatin. Add to taste. Directions. One, wash juicy bones thoroughly with water. If you are still bothered by the scent, then try boiling them. Or if all else fails, ram a clove of garlic deep into each nostril. Finally, chop crisp onion, chop juicy bones and fish fillet into edible sized pieces. Lightly rinse clear gelatin in water after unraveling it. Three, saute ingredients in a heated frying pan. After fish fillet has been lightly cooked, add water or soup and simmer until liquid has half evaporated. Four, lastly, add clear gelatin and bring to a boil. Remove from heat and wait for thickening. Five, after clear gelatin thickens, cut it into edible sized pieces. Your Booyah Bay is now ready. You may eat it as is or heating it with a little flashy Orville magic makes for a great dinner show. This dish is great for lunch boxes and scaring small children. Ha! Yeah, never take your, uh, your fresh baby to a hibachi show, by the way. Um, it scares the shit out of them. Kitty talk for dummies. Oh, I've already read that. Hurts his adventure one. 
Oh, I've already heard this. All right, floor three then. According to this data, I've no doubts that during the blackout, all orbit suddenly and utterly ceased activity. Hmm, I think we should call back the barrel more. We're not taking... Okay, already heard this. That's just Russell. Well, let's check in with him just in case. Hey, Russell, what do you know about cute shit? Nothing. You know nothing about cuteness. Why did I expect otherwise? Thanks for your help. You guys really helped me out. Hope you like the final product. I do. Hey, Tomato Man. Oh. More acerbic tomatoes. Huh. I wonder if she'll like that. Probably not, but... In now white on Twan. You helped find the bad guys. What a good little kitty you are. Yes, you are. <coughs> uh, yes. Hello, everyone. How can I help you? Nothing embarrassing about that, Miriam. We've all done that. Hello, everyone. Did you find what you were looking for? Uh, at the moment, no. Alright, I'm curious, I'm curious as to whether or not I can give her the acerbic tomato. So let's find out. Nope, can't give her the tomato. Okay, I have been everywhere in town and I've talked to everybody. So I need a hint. I need a hint about what to do uh, about this gift. I've been everywhere in town and I've talked to everybody. I don't know where else to look if it's in Zeiss. Huh, I missed a monster in Ruan. I missed four in Roland. Huh. It's a buyable item. Ah, okay. So probably a piece of food. I guess we'll buy one of everything. Well, I was given a thousand Mira for it, so it probably costs a thousand Mira. I've got one of each of these. So it... Oh, I didn't talk to you. Zeiss has so few trees. I'd love to take a trip to see the flowers in the town of Minoria. I have to buy her... Oh, no, I have this stuff. Why is she selling food at the flower shop? Alright, well, never mind. I thought I had it there. 
Alright, buyable item. Fresh milk is not going to be it, but I'll buy one anyway. Ripe apple. Apple a day keeps the sweets away. Salted anchovy. I don't think that'll be it. Marbled steak. Ooh, I could go for some steak right now. Maple sugar is not going to be it. Dragon beans. That's a hell of a name for a coffee. One of each of those. It's a buyable item. I just bought a bunch of items. Let's check arms and guards to see if there's anything that costs a thousand Mira. Glam choker, feather brooch, skull pendant. I've got the mirror to spare. Mirage ring. Oh, work gloves might be it. Not buying her a metal jacket. All right, let's let's try some of this stuff. Why did I save out here? Save right here. All right, let's see if we got gifts. Ah, work gloves it is. This is a present to go with it. Work gloves? What kind of gift are these meant to be? Well, I'll accept them. Oh, I just don't think he really gets me. Well, that was the only thing I bought that was added to the list. Okay. Buyable item. Well, I went to all the shops. Except this.
No, it can't be a quartz. All right, hit number two, please. So I went to all the shops. I would have sworn it would be like the necklace or whatever. One of the choker or the brooch. It's the same item category as the work gloves with the pendant icon. Was there something I didn't buy here? got one of all of these so that can't be it all right, general goods oh great gift for a young girl I guess I didn't check that. Is she a young girl? I don't know that she'll appreciate this. We'll try it. We'll try it. He did not give us enough money for the uh, wool hat. I'd just like to point that out. hat. This is a present to go with it. Oh, how cute. I see now, finally. I know he still thinks about me, but I just wish he'd come sooner. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you for taking the time to deliver it to me. Well, I should get back to work. Sure, see you later. Well, that was successful, I guess. I guess we'll go report to him back at uh, Wolf Fort. report back to him specifically okay but I want to see what he has to say oh you turn it in at the bracer guild I see
Wolf Fort is up here. No, this is the room with the chest. Uh, and up there is the tower. So yeah, Wolf Fort is following the path. Duh. When did he have time to leave money at the Bracer Guild? Hey, you guys. Did you deliver the letter? We sure did. And the present, too. Great, thanks. I wonder if she's reading it right now. It's kind of unnerving. Yeah, it can... Uh, that period between professing something and receiving an answer is nerve-wracking. I definitely know. Oh, I've been single for too long. Not to 200, just to 198. Come on. All Wait, where am I? Is this Alma? Huh. Uh, I don't need to turn this quest in yet. I can do that the next time I'm at the Bracer Guild. Uh, there's the Temp Librarian. Approach the Man of Stone, standing in silence within the mountain village pond, and you shall receive. Okay. That's gonna happen in Elmo, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Ritter Road Monster, I don't need to do that yet. An Elmo Pump Repair is the main quest. Okay, so I can... Uh, I can turn... I can turn this in whenever I go back to the Bracer Guild. So yeah, why don't we just go to Elmo? Wow, so this is Elmo, huh? I like it. Feels homey. Uh, what's that smell? Joshua, did you... Oh, that's just the sulfur in the water. I guess that's just what happens when the water pours out of the hot springs, huh? 
Ugh, really? Smells like someone left eggs out in the sun for a year. Well, if I hold my breath, it's not too bad, I guess. <laughs> it's not as strong as usual, though. There's hardly any steam coming out. Maybe it's tied to the pump breaking down. Want to go ahead and see about fixing it? Oh, the key to the pump shed is back at the inn. Mrs. Mao has it. We'll have to get that first. No problem. To the inn we go. General goods. Not many customers today. I hope Quante's inviting them to see the store. Uh, oh, I gotta buy reviving bombs. Fluffy spring. Egg. 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 Thank God I remember to buy reviving bombs. Okay. If my husband wants to spend his time training, that's his choice. It sure isn't mine. Here I was hoping to have a long, relaxing silk, too. Oh well, I guess I'll just do some shopping and then have an exotic dinner. Why are you vacationing in a place that smells like sulfur? I thought the hot water was starting to get weaker. But it's all stopped now. Yep, it's lukewarm. Definitely nothing hot about these springs right now. I heard the pumps are broken and we can't use the baths. It's a shame, but then again, it's also the will of Adios. This place sure seems lonely without all the steam clouds. My husband and daughter think, think the work stops when they're finished eating. But somebody's got to clean everything up and wash all the dishes. Maybe I should just not do it one day. That uh, might be a way to get them to start working on it. Mom, I want some tea too. Hey, Lynn, bring me some more tea. Alright, bit of a selfish, selfish husband and daughter. Well, children are built to be selfish. It's, uh, that's the inn. So we'll do that last. I should start getting dinner ready during the post-lunch downtime. Working two jobs can be so exhausting sometimes. Just opens the door and leaves. the pump shed. Okay. Well, let's go get the key. Hi, Mrs. Mao. Oh, hello, Tita. I'm glad you're here. Mr. Murdoch just got in touch with me a little while ago. Is it true that the professor is making you do the repairs while he's off doing Idios knows what? Yes, but it's actually justified this time. He's doing something pretty important. It's not like that. He was planning to come here until I said something about it. Oh, well, bless your heart, child. But you know you spoil that old coot, don't you? He's always been the sort to completely lose himself in his research, given half the chance. Um, <laughs> Energetic old granny, isn't she? Well, she obviously knows the professor. And who might you be? Strangers gossiping about me in front of me. Oh, let me introduce you. This is Estelle, and this is Joshua. They're with the Bracer Guild, and they're looking out for me. Hello. It's nice to meet you. Well, what do you know? Please, do pardon me. I'm the owner of the Maple Leaf Inn. You can call me Mrs. Mao. Russell and I have been friends since we were knee-high to a grasshopper. Tita here is almost like my own granddaughter. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, right. 
Mrs. Mal, is the orbital pump really broken? I'm afraid so, dear. I think the 40-year-old beast may finally be on its last legs. Oh, well, I wanted to replace it at some point anyway. Can you handle it, Tita? You betcha. Okay, just a sec. Pump shed key! Just go north of the village square, up the hill. The pump shed's right there. I really appreciate it. Welcome to the Maple Leaf Inn. All of our rooms have special names. This is the Yuzu Room. I feel the names are so much more personal than Room 201. Man, we've only had four people in the party once in this entire game. Is this taking me to a bathhouse? Yes, it is. They said since the pump's broken, the springs are closed. That lady from the capital sure seemed disappointed. Might as well go fishing while they fix the pumps. Cleaning in progress. Cleaning in progress. Cart hangs from the window. Cleaning in progress. If they have a hot spring scene... Where there's wacky hijinks between Joshua and Estelle, I'm going to be annoyed. I hate those scenes. So this is the pump shed. That's right. It sends hot water to the inn and to the well in the town square. Well, let's try that key. Wow, so this is the pump, huh? You'd never know it was so old from how well-maintained it is. <laughs> well, I think my grandpa comes in at least once a year to keep it running well. Forty years ago, people didn't really know much about Orbments. And so grandpa created this Orbal pump to show people what a difference Orbal technology could make to their lives. Ah, huh, okay. So this place probably has some sentimental value for your grandfather then, I guess. And that's why it's kept in such good condition. Right. Let's see. First up is a systems check. And if that's okay, then we'll make sure there are no problems with the impeller or pipes. Um, can we do anything to help? No, Estelle, just stay out of the way. Oh, it's fine. This is a one-person job anyway. You guys should just go to the inn and relax. It might be the cavitation and water hammer. Hmm, what to check next? Aha! It's a surging problem! I figured we wouldn't be of any use. Apparently not. Maybe we should take her advice and wait at the inn. Hello again. How's Tita doing? Busy as a bee. She's hard at work. We figured we'd probably just get in the way, so we'll stay here. <laughs> well, you just might be right at that. She's almost as talented as Russell himself. Hard to argue with that after watching her at work. I'm just amazed that she's working at the Central Factory at her age. And no matter what, she's always so sweet. Always has a smile for everyone. But I get her in front of a machine and she'll tinker with it for hours. She loves it. She's just a fine girl. But still... What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. Hey, Mrs. Mao! Welcome back, Ed. What's got you all frothing at the mouth? I, um, wanted to ask you something. Did that lady from Gransel leave? Hmm, a lady from Gransel? Oh, the guest from yesterday. She went out for a walk, but she hasn't come back yet. I thought so. Ugh, oh, this is awkward. 
What? Isn't she in the village? Um, well, actually, I saw her by the village gate. She said she was going to go and take in the scenery or something. Out on the plains? She'd have to be a fool to go where all the monsters are. You complete idiot. Why didn't you stop her? I did. I mean, I tried. She just wouldn't listen. I don't know how seriously she took what I said, but I'm worried. Um, pardon me. What? Are you new guests? Do you remember what time you saw that lady by the gate? Hmm, I think it was right around noon. At least that's about when I got back. Noon. Yeah, I think we can catch up with her. We should get going before it's too late. Huh? Well, we're bracers, if you couldn't tell by looking. We'll head out into the plains and find this girl. Don't worry. No kidding? What a stroke of luck! Yes, please. You've no right to even ask for their help. But, fine. The guest's safety is paramount. I hate to impose on you two, but please, look after my guest. Will do. We'll be going now. I'm guessing it's this way? No. Okay. Oh, we go. Oh, I'm so tired. Now, let's see. The Plains Road is so wide. Where should we search? Hmm. Supposedly, she said she was going to take in the scenery. So it seems likely she's wandered away from where the road's paved. Oh, man. Well, that's going to be really safe, isn't it? But hey, no biggie. Let's find her and bring her back. Hopefully with all pieces intact. All right, well, we lost our, uh, we lost our gunner, who was very useful. Whoops. Oh, not quite. Got it. Oh, she's going to crit this turn, so it'll finish it off. Miss on the crit turn? Come on. Well, she got it on the second crit turn, so there's that at least. Oh, hey, a chest. Tiara bomb. It wouldn't be empty if you hadn't already looted it, now would it? This will just get me like 8 EXP and will take damage, so we're gonna run. Away from where the road's paved. Oh, god damn it. Oh, a crit turn? Oh, it spent its crit turn prepping an attack. Okay. Miss! Oh, I needed you to not miss.
Ah, uh, no! Someone help me! Did you hear that? Whatever it was, it's not far. Adios! Daddy! Mommy! Niall! Help me! Dorothy? That voice sounds suspiciously familiar. I think you're probably right, but let's hurry. Yeah, it is her! Oh, uh-oh. Come on, puppies. Can't we talk about this? I don't think I taste very good. I mean, I sleep at least 12 hours a day, and I eat lots of veggies, and my skin's all smooth. Uh, wait. Does being healthy make me seem yummier? Ah, uh, if I'd known this was coming, I'd have made sure to get paid in advance and had a nice meal. Huh? You two? <laughs> Just as I expected. No need to worry, Dorothy. What were your names again? Uh, yeah, it's the same old Dorothy, all right. We're Joshua and Estelle of the Bracer Guild. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Totally. I promise I didn't forget your names. I definitely wasn't waiting for you to introduce yourselves. Fancy meeting you two here. Adios, give me the strength not to leave her to the beasts. Estelle, on your guard. Uh, all right, flicker. Yes. Uh, power 10, so let's hurricane the lot of them. Nice damage. Oh, Dorothy's in the fight. Uh-oh. Oh, we're taking a lot of damage. No, don't. You look simply marvelous. Oh, right. She blinds enemies. I was about, I was about to say, don't walk up into the fight. Oh, God. Dorothy, run. Uh, okay. Joshua, kill. Uh, there she goes. Well, balls. Well, balls. Why couldn't we have Tita for this? Uh, let's, let's kill something. Why is she taking less damage now? Yep, you stay well away, Dorothy. No, fuck! Uh, alright. Uh-oh. Miss! Oh no, we're fucked. We're bowed! Uh, okay, this will happen immediately. Good. Alright, they're doing less damage to Estelle because she's got better gear on. Alright, are you gonna blind? Alright. Hurricane it is. Uh, dual strike you. Another miss?
Double kill, nice! Alright, oh it didn't kill by like a sliver, sliver of health! Kill the one with more HP. So that Estelle can kill with a hurricane. Come on, hit them all. Got him. Oh, that was harrowing. That was harrowing. And we only got 30 EXP for it. God damn it. Nice bounty of Sepith, though. Whew! I don't know how we chased them off, but we did. Did they look familiar to you? Yep, they're the monsters who attacked the checkpoint on the mountain pass. I wonder what they're doing out here. Oh, how lovely! You bracers are very impressive! Estelle and Joshua. It's been such a long time, hasn't it? I never would have thought I'd see you here. Do you think maybe we were destined to meet again? Fate is a fickle mistress, all right. So, uh, Dorothy, are you staying at the Inn and Elmo by any chance? Why, yes. Hey, how did you know? Joshua and Estelle explained that the owner of Elmo's Inn had requested that they bring her back safely. Oh, I see. Well, isn't that just terrible? Uh-huh. As if you care about anyone else's problems. So, what brings you out here? A little cross-country hiking, maybe? You mean you don't even know that much? <laughs> I see that you haven't gotten any more insightful in our time apart. Oh yeah, there is a reason they don't like you. What? The answer is actually that I'm looking for a photograph that the newspaper needs for a special edition. Oh, and by the way, Niall's the one who assigned me this task. I see, so it's work. Okay, but why would you be looking for that here? Ah, oh, forget it. This wears me out faster than fighting any monster ever did. Aw, oh, poor Estelle. Did you get hurt in battle? Yes. Pain, pain, go away. Come again some other day. Or not at all would be better, I guess. I'm not injured, I'm just really aggravated at your utter obliviousness. Wow, it's rare for someone to get under, under Estelle's skin this badly. Is it, Joshua? Is it really? I don't think it's that rare. Estelle, why don't we head back to Elmo? Maybe Tita's done fixing the pump. Yes, let's go back. And I think Dorothy will be coming back with us. Huh? But I wanted to stay and take more pictures. We are going now. Scary. Hey, at least we're over a thousand HP now. Oh, it's evening now. All right. Oh, look, there's steam coming out. Hey, you're right. Looks like the repairs worked. Whew, now we can finally use the spa. Yay! Life is good again. Kind of overstating things a bit, aren't you? Do you really like the spa that much? <laughs> Well, yeah. There's absolutely nothing finer than a tall glass of fruity milk after a hot bath. Now I'm going to go ahead and get in. Oh, I just remembered. Guys, thanks for coming to help me earlier. 
I have all my hands and toes and bits because of you two. You don't have to thank us for having good timing. Man, she can be such a ditz. Well, that's Dorothy for you. Anyway, let's get back to the pump shed. Okay. Tina's probably still there. To the shed. To the... I'm saving after that fight, so I never have to do it again. Are you done with the repairs? Oh, hi guys. You seem perturbed. <laughs> yeah, I just finished. I just have to make sure that the hot water's going where it's supposed to. It's okay. The well in the plaza has hot water. So, what was the problem? Well, the pump itself wasn't the issue. The crankshaft on the impeller had corroded and broken. I switched it out with a rust-resistant one, so everything should be fine now. Cool. Nice work. Shall we return to the inn and let the hostess know? Okay. Ah, uh, we've got Tita back, thank fuck. Wait, statue in the water in the village. There's no statue in the pond. Hmm. Okay, so it's not here. Thank you, Tita. The pump's pumping like it was just installed yesterday. <laughs> really? Please, think nothing of it. Well, haven't you grown into such a well-mannered young lady? And thank you, too, for helping us out with that guest as well. You guys know everyone, it seems. <laughs> I guess we do. What happened? A little bracer business. You two have my thanks. As a way to pay you back, I'd like to, I'd like you to stay here free. No way, really? Ma'am? We didn't tell my grandfather we were going to stay here. Nonsense. I heard from Russell a little earlier. He said the job would take him until tomorrow to finish, and he asked if you could stay here. Grandpa said that? What a sweet old guy. Well, if he said that, then I'm afraid we have no choice but to impose for the night. Come right in. You can put your things in the yuzu room on the second floor. It'll be some time before dinner, so go take a dip in the hot springs. You want us to take a bath before dinner? Are baths such an alien thing to you, Estelle? I thought people took their baths before they went to sleep. What are you talking about? This is a hot springs resort. People expect you to jump in the bath in the morning, at lunch, whenever. I'd be okay with three baths a day here. Really? Well, I like baths as much as anybody, but it sounds a little bit much for me. <laughs> Shall we go put our bags in our room, then? Thank God, no hot spring scene. Hopefully, no hot spring scene. Wow, nice room. Indeed. Mrs. Mao told me that she was born off to the east. She moved to Liberal with her family when she was little. The village has a lot of people from the same area. I thought this village had kind of an unusual vibe. I bet, I'll bet the food here must be really good. Yeah. But before that, why don't we check out the spa we've been hearing about? Hey, yeah. Did you want to join us, Tita? Okay. We can go after we put away our luggage. Okay, the luggage is secure. So where's this spa now? Oh, there's a separate bath behind the building. It's a big open-air bath. You mean it's basically outside, then? Ooh, that sounds neat. Let's go. Uh, hot spring scene it is. All right. Oh, there's a whole side stairwell I didn't notice. Wow, it's already dark. Look at the Eastern-style garden. Very nice. Oh, Estelle and Joshua, hi. 
Dorothy? Did you come here to soak in these heavenly waters too? I just love it here. It's so spacious and comfortable. I just wish staying in the hot water didn't make me dizzy after a while. Have you been in here this whole time? Oh yeah, it just feels so good. And who are you, little girl? I don't think we've met before. I'm Tita. It's nice to meet you. Tita, huh? You can call me Dorothy. I'm a photographer for a magazine in Gransel. Really? Wow, that must be a great job. <laughs> it is pretty awesome. All right, Estelle, you guys are staying at the inn, right? Why don't we have dinner together? Sure, sounds okay. Would you mind waiting for us? Sure, I'll have some fruity milk in the meantime. I'll see you guys soon. Oh, we haven't been down here. Ooh, that bath was hot. It warms you right down to your toes. Nothing like a slow, warm bath to help you forget all your troubles. This garden is so mysterious and beautiful under the moon. Don't you think so? It is pretty. I like it. Let's see, this is the door to the baths, right? Estelle, this is the men's bath. We have to go to the women's bath. Oh, okay, they're separated. Were you intending to take a hot spring dip with Joshua? <laughs> How silly of me. I need to change my clothes. Ahem, <clears throat> I believe this is goodbye for now. Okay, see you later. Excuse us. Oh, that feels so good. Way better than I ever thought it would. I'm not like Dorothy, but I could see getting seriously addicted to this. <laughs> I already am. When I was little, Grandpa used to always bring me here. Ah, oh, okay. Aren't you still little? Hey, where does that door go? Oh, that leads to the open-air bath I was talking about before. It's huge. I'll bet it could fit ten people at once. Oh, they're going to have a scene where they go into the bath at the same time, aren't they? Ah! Wow, cool. Whew, I feel like I could dissolve in this. All this traveling has worn me out. Have you been doing all your traveling on foot? Why not take an airship? Um, for training, I guess. My dad always said it was super important. You mean Mr. Cassius? Yeah, Shara was another student of my dad's. He told her all the time that she should travel by foot. You should see the places you should protect with your own eyes or some such. Whoa, cool. Yeah, he was big on impressive speeches, but he knew how to back them up when he had to. Uh, I wonder where he is now. Estelle. <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to get all gloomy on you. I'm in training too, and it's not like worrying will do me any good. I guess all I can do is have faith in him. Faith. Hmm? Something wrong? No. No, I'm okay. Oh, yeah. I had something I wanted to ask you. Something? Okay, Dish. You can ask me anything. Is she going to ask about Estelle and Joshua being together? Um, uh, well... Are you and Joshua married? Ah, oh, I knew it. Uh, sorry. I must have spaced out. What about me and Joshua? I was wondering if you and Joshua were married. What? 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 Why would you ask a thing like that? Oh, don't yell at the kid. But you have the same last name. You don't look like each other at all, so I didn't think you were siblings. Yeah, don't yell at the kid. 
We don't look alike because we're not blood related. Our names are the same because Joshua was adopted. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, sorry, I had it all wrong. Boy, did you ever. Besides, he and I are both only 16. Marriage is a subject for way off in the future. Right. I guess you wouldn't get married so young, no matter how much you love each other, huh? Ugh. I'm telling you, Joshua and I are not boyfriend and girlfriend. We're just family. Really? What do you mean, really? Uh, sweetie, do you get that kind of vibe from watching us or something? What, what kind of vibe? Uh, like we're together, as in together together. Like lovey-dovey, hot, can't keep our hands off each other together. No, you don't give that vibe off, Estelle. Oh, well, no. But but you're always with each other, and you're comfortable with each other, and you almost finish each other's sandwiches. Well, I can't argue with that. But don't you think that you could, that could just be as easily be how family and close friends act? And anyway, even if we ever did feel like that toward each other... No, oh, bad thoughts, bad thoughts. I don't like that the game is ship-teasing Estelle and Joshua so much for the entire game because they're siblings. They're... They're siblings. It's weird. And why am I getting so embarrassed by these questions? I always handled them fine before. Estelle, your face is all red. Ah, it's nothing. No reason at all. I mean, it's because the hot water's so effective. Yeah. It just gets the blood going, and staying in too long can make you dizzy. Okay. Wasn't there an open-air bath here? I suddenly want to try it out. Let's go. Right. By the way, Estelle, the open-air bath is... unisex. God damn it. God damn it, I hate this kind of scene. Whew. Okay, settle down, heart. I hear you. What the hell was that all about? I've never even thought about Joshua like that before. Ah, oh, stop it, Estelle. This isn't like you. Yep, he's in the top right corner. Ah, oh, this feels great. I love that the bath is open to the outside. Uh, and it's big enough to stretch out and really relax him. You do know that you're not meant to go swimming, though. You see me doing the butterfly stroke, buddy? Uh. Hi, Estelle. I got in a little while before you. <laughs> it's kind of awkward to be around you like this. But hey, the hot springs works even better than I expected. It's good for injuries, and it really helps work out any muscle stiffness. Just the right idea for a bracer, really. Uh, I... You staying silent like that is making this a bit awkward, you know. Uh, I, uh... Don't do it. Don't. Oh, come on. That shriek startled me so badly that I almost flew through the ceiling. I almost suffered through a heart attack, and all for what? A false alarm? I'm... I'm sorry. Listen, the open-air bath is unisex. Is there not a sign clearly saying that in the dressing room? Um... What, you expected Estelle to read? I think what she's trying to say is that she didn't notice it. First of all, getting caught starkers once or twice isn't such a big deal that you need to go screaming your lungs out. And I've heard it said that a woman's skin gets prettier when you show it off. Really? Bunch of crap. I wasn't out to show off anything for anyone. Well, whatever then. Why not make up and just try to enjoy the baths? This place was intended for family members to be able to bathe together from the get-go. Now I'm off. <sighs> and suddenly I'm exhausted. Ugh, Joshua, this is all your fault. No, it's not. How do you figure that? 
I mean, it wasn't me who shrieked like a banshee. Nor did I flake out and completely miss the sign in the dressing room. You shut up. You think you're so cute while well, you're not. Oh, is that how it is? Well, fine. It's not as if it means anything to me whether or not you think I'm cute. I hate this. What did you say? I'm making a point, looking at me and screaming the way you did. I never would have even dreamed that you'd react like that. Uh, well, I just wasn't... It was bad timing, okay? I didn't mean that I'm disgusted at the thought of being in, in there with you or anything. No, no, I wouldn't want you to put yourself out. I'll just be on my way so you two can be alone. Put myself out? I can't believe you sometimes, you jerk. <laughs> Look who's talking. Hey, don't you dare laugh, Tita. I still don't get why I'm the jerk, but whatever. I, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to embarrass you. It's okay. I'm sorry for laughing. I just... Well, I'm a little envious. Envious of what? Why? I don't have any siblings, so I don't have anyone to fight with or make up with. Grandpa's always nice and never mean to me. Mostly because my mom and dad couldn't be there. Huh? You don't mean to say that they're... They've been out of the country working as orbital engineers for a long time. I guess they're somewhere that orbit technology hasn't really hit yet. They left you alone to grow up without them? How long have they been gone, shitty parents? I'm not even sure how many years it's been since they last came to Zeiss. Shitty parents! Shitty parents! Take the kid with you! I had no idea. You must have been lonely. Not really. I have my grandpa, at least. And everyone at the Central Factory is always super nice to me. But I still get a little jealous when I look at you two. <laughs> I'm probably just wishing for something that I'll never have. For all we know, they've had another kid while they've been gone. Tita. I've got an idea. Huh? Be our sibling. From now on, I'll be your big sister. And Joshua could be your big brother. What? Oh, always with the grand sweeping gestures. Oh, come on. Are you seriously complaining? No, I feel the same way you do. I have no objections, as long as Tita's okay with the idea. Thank you. Both of you. I don't know what to say. I can't stop smiling. Well, that settles it, then. Treat us just like you would a normal brother and sister. We've just established that she has no frame of reference for how that works, Estelle. I give you permission to make fun of Joshua as much as you like. That's right. Estelle is fair game to make fun of, too, in that case. You can talk to us just like when you talk to the professor. Like family. But is that really okay? I... I'll try. I promise. Okay. Okay. So this is a new beginning for all of us. Man, they're so late. Ugh, I drank too much fruity milk. Now my stomach's all messed up. Just gonna ditch, uh, ditch Dorothy. After getting out of the spa, Estelle and company tried to soothe Dorothy's annoyance with some of the inn's fine eastern cuisine. This was followed by an enjoyable game of cards, after which they returned to the spa. And so the evening wore on comfortably. Okay, Mrs. Mal. We really appreciate everything. <laughs> I'm just glad you were able to relax a little. And Tita, you certainly seem to have enjoyed yourself. <laughs> Is it that obvious? You all seem closer than you were yesterday. Must be the magic of the springs. By the way, what happened to that girl with the glasses? I think she went off to get eaten by monsters. Hmm, I think she's still in bed. We called for her, but she didn't answer, and we didn't want to barge in. <sighs> Excuse me. When Dorothy does wake up, please give her our regards. Certainly. Tita, I'd like for you to tell Russell something for me when you see him next. 
Tell him that I said he needs to focus on the rest of his life, beyond all the 24-7 research. <laughs> okay, I will. Take care of yourself, Mrs. Mao, and you need to come visit too. Sure thing, hon. You're all welcome back here anytime. The baths are always waiting. You can count on it. Absolutely. The food was great, too. Ah, I feel rejuvenated. And we never would have come at all if the pub hadn't needed repairing. So, I guess we owe our thanks to you, Tita. But I... I, I didn't do anything. I should be thanking you for everything yesterday. It was really fun. <laughs> Glad to hear it. I guess that means we're even. Yep, I guess it does. Shall we return to Zeiss, then? The professor might be done with taking apart the black orb mint by now. Oh yeah, we do still have that to deal with. I'd completely forgotten. Oh, why am I not surprised? <laughs> oh, okay. Let's save, because we haven't saved in a while. Oh, my arm. Ow. Uh, quiet man. How would you feel about us stopping a little early? Because this seems like a good stopping point. Before we leave for Zeiss, try taking the stone lantern in the garden. Oh, yeah, there is a, a pool in the garden that the uh, uh, book is probably at. Hang on. Stone lantern in the garden. Stone lantern in the garden. Uh, how do I check it? Do I check it from up here? No. Okay. That's not how it works. What am I missing? Under the stairs, perhaps? Okay, let's take a look. We have to go below the wooden planks to get the item. Ah, there we go. And a package wrapped in oiled paper. Inside was the Air Bay Woodpecker. All right, items. Let's read it. A bird of legend. The Airbay Scenic Route is a road lined with beautiful groves of slender trees on each side of its cobbled path. A notable sight frequently appearing in ancient royal court literature, it is thought by researchers that the scenery which knights once laid eyes on was far more spectacular than what that which is seen today. Sadly, those vivid colors appearing in days of yore have long since been lost. Those awe-inspiring hues of which are written in poem and song refer to the plumage of a single bird. Its name? The Airbay Woodpecker. Presently, it is exceptionally rare to catch a glimpse of this brilliant azure bird. In fact, its extinction has even been suggested on more than a few occasions. In an interesting light, traditional songs sung by knights of times past make frequent mention of these birds as being a common sight. It undoubtedly seems as though there used to exist an incomparably large population of these woodpeckers, in contrast with their meager numbers in recent times. This brings us to the pivotal question of... What fate exactly befell these birds over the course of the last several hundred years? A peculiar mode of life. Although the Air Bay Woodpecker is in fact a woodpecker, it does not peck holes in the trunks of trees. The reason being, it cannot. In general, woodpeckers use their beaks to bore holes in the boles of trees for nesting. But for the Air Bay Woodpecker, this is an impossible task. Consequently, they figured out another way to deal with this problem. Even if they do not bore the hole themselves, there are many other nesting holes for them to choose from. That's right, they will usurp a nesting hole made by another species of woodpecker. 
The Herbe woodpecker, with a beak perfect for catching insects, and its clever ploy of stealing a fellow's nesting hole, was believed to have the traits that would allow it to prosper indefinitely. Invasion by an invasive species. A sudden change occurred when a new, larger species of woodpecker came to live in the forests inhabited by the Herbe woodpecker. This larger species had managed to migrate by way of boat from its distant native land. As nautical technology developed and trade began to flourish, the coming and going of marine vessels became increasingly dynamic. However, those which traveled on these boats and ships were not always human. Blending in with various freight and cargo, these creatures from other lands managed to come ashore one after another. With the introduction of this larger species of woodpecker, those smaller species which were once endemic to liberal gradually left the Herbe forest in search of new habitats. Life also became problematic for the Herbe woodpecker as its nesting hole size differed greatly from the outsiders. Yet, despite these drawbacks, it continued to stay in the forest. With the other small species of its habitat being driven out, finding another woodpecker's nesting hole became increasingly difficult. If a nesting hole could not be found, the Herbe woodpecker, of course, could not reproduce either. Thus, chances for reproduction among its kind gradually decreased, and a long era of decline set in among them. Cleverness and their eventual downfall The Herbe woodpecker, with its clever methodology of using the nesting holes of others, enjoyed a brief period of prosperity. However, having abandoned their ability to bore holes for themselves some millennia before left them unable to cope with the abrupt changes in their environment. On the other hand, those other species of woodpeckers, despite having been displaced by an invasive species countless times, have continued to prosper today as they have in times past. There are many things which we ourselves can learn from these tiny birds. So, if you should happen to see one of these azure rarities flying amongst the trees of the grove-bordered avenue on the Herbe Scenic Route, please remember the struggle they have been forced to endure. Well, that's a cool bit of uh, world building. Okay, uh, I think that's where we're going to end for today. I know it's a little soon, but we'll just tack on half an hour to um, next week's stream, uh, but I'm, I'm kind of tired, and I think this is a good stopping place. Um, yeah, that's where we're gonna end for today. Uh, so I'll read my schedule off and get off. Before I do that, I would like to plug my Patreon. I make my living off of Patreon, and I make enough to pay my rent and my bills, but I don't make much beyond that. Um, and I would like to put together a savings account for medical emergencies or having to replace stuff or anything that I haven't had for the past decade. So if you could go to my Patreon, which can be found either in the description of the YouTube video or with the exclamation point Patreon command in Twitch chat, pledge a dollar a month or a dollar per stream or anything in between. Pledge more if you really want to help me out. Uh, I'm grateful to everybody who pledges because you make it so I can do my strange, silly job for a living. I do this because you make it so I can, and I appreciate it greatly. I love my job. As for the schedule, tomorrow is going to be Pokemon Rejuvenation at 1 p.m. EST uh, for a patron, which will, I believe, have uh, that patron on call with me, Love, uh, part of my stream crew. Uh... Today is Monday. So Wednesday, I have a doctor's appointment at 1.30 p.m. getting a CAT scan. Um, I may stream the Final Fantasy 16 demo when I get back. Uh, I don't know. Possibly. Possibly. Probably. One or the other. Um, Thursday is going to be Wild Arms 3 for a patron at 1 p.m. EST. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I have on the schedule no stream because of a trip, but it's increasingly looking like the trip's not going to happen. So on Friday will be Zelda, Saturday will be Final Fantasy XIV, and Sunday will be Zelda. And then Monday, I don't have anything on the schedule, so more Zelda. Uh, that's the next week's schedule. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.